This is Nina Curley from WAMDA Media. I'm here at the World Economic Forum with Toria Benlovki, the program manager of Enactus. Tell us a little bit about Enactus. What are you doing in Morocco? Uh, Enactus is an uh, NGO that works with students on social entrepreneurship projects. And uh, in Morocco, we work with 45 teams uh, of, uh, of students that are working on uh, implementing projects with underprivileged population to help them start a business or scale up a business and be empowered. Why students? Why students? Because they are, uh, they are the future, the entrepreneurs of the country and because they have the passion and they have the time to conduct the projects. And what's lacking in the education system in Morocco? I mean, it seems like this is filling some gaps you were explaining to me. Can you speak to that? Yes, yes, exactly. It's, it's filling a huge gap because education, it's all about theories. It's all about uh, simple knowledge. But in Enactus, people, uh, students learn not only uh, how to be entrepreneurs, but they know how to, to teach people to be entrepreneurs, how to create value, how to change people's lives, how to empower people, especially the underprivileged people. So they're not working by themselves. So they, they're, they're, uh, they're working on their skills, their competencies, by teaching other people to empower themselves. And how has this affected society or the economy in Morocco? We have a lot of informal uh, small businesses going on in each place of the country. And so uh, these small businesses don't know exactly how to, how to make real profit. So they're just struggling to get some, some, some coins. So the, the, the contribution that the students are, are making here is that they, they're bringing partnerships, they're bringing people from the private sector, from the government, and from NGOs to know about these small businesses and to scale up these small businesses so they can be uh, marketable and, uh, and making more and more profit for these underprivileged people. When it comes to scaling, what is the biggest challenge that they face? Is it finding this mentorship or is it funding? What is the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge, for some teams, it's mostly funding, but what we're trying to tell them is that we don't need funding. For now, we certainly not need funding, we need partnerships. We can find a lot of people willing to contribute by expertise, by equipment, by uh, maybe maybe local, maybe, maybe a lot of things, and we don't really need the money, because the, the objective of the whole project is to make, to, to create value. One other major uh, problem that they face is the mentality. People don't really believe in these small businesses and uh, they prefer to go to a fancy place or to a fancy uh, company to buy them the, their stuff. So what the students are doing is that they change, they're changing the, the, the consumer mentality. So they, they're, they're making products uh, like um, homemade products with really beautiful packaging, with really beautiful uh, market, uh, market campaigns, uh, and, and they're selling. So this is this is really a huge, huge thing for Morocco. And can you speak to the role of women at all? How many of these entrepreneurs coming on board now are women? I think most of them. <laughs> uh, like, you know, in rural areas, uh, women are the ones who work the most. So maybe the men are doing the hard labor, but the women are taking care of everything. So when they find a way to make some, some money or to make some, some profit, uh, adding to what their husbands uh, do, it's, it's, it's wonderful. And women like to work in groups. So it's rarely we find an entrepreneur, a women entrepreneur who wants to, to work alone. So when they work in group, the, um, the, their social activities, it's so fun to work together and they're doing a really, really good job. So basically, uh, I don't know, I, I don't have uh, specific numbers, but we can say like 80% of the entrepreneurs we're working with are women. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to hearing more about their businesses in the future. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you very much.